Hey guys, today I'm down in Medellin. Medellin, man, I've always, want, you know, I'll tell you the stories we get into this, Eric, about Colombia and my past with it. But um, Eric Stoffers, BioAccelerate, I've been wanting to get down here, I don't know, three or four or five years. It's been years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I appreciate you uh, taking care of us this week and uh, we're excited to be here, Elaine and I. So unbelievable how your staff is taking care, you know, just quality, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're we're blessed. When people ask me about success, it's always about the people. And yeah, yeah our, our people are, they, they have this quality that I didn't have to train at all. Uh -huh. And it's empathy and it's exceptionalism. So, yeah. And, thank and you. you've been, how, how long have you been in Columbia? Well, I, I founded the company in 2015. Okay. And uh, I, I took my first trip to Columbia in 2015. It was because you were looking for a place to bring this, these alternatives that are. Yeah, exactly. But it was honestly the last on my list. Just like most uh -huh. Americans, I was, you know, I, I knew about Columbia because of Netflix and Narcos and yeah, the sure, history. Sure. I watched it twice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's kind of cool once you're here because yeah. you see, you know, kind of where, uh -huh. where everything transpired. But yeah, so I was one of those typical Americans that was kind of afraid of it. And, um, and it was the last on my list. But once I, once I found the three things that I was looking for, really, really good regulation for mm -hmm. advanced cell therapy great medical infrastructure. And then maybe the most important of the three of those is will, really well-trained doctors, really, really well-respected around the world. Uh -huh. I was looking all throughout South America for that. And there's a couple other countries that have something pretty close, but once those things, those three things popped up, it was Medellin all the way. So that's what, so, you know, uh, I just finished with the physical therapists here, which yeah. I had no, like, I had no idea I was going to be doing that or how valuable it would be. I, I'm 66 years old. I've never had the kind of PT guidance that I had in there. And I didn't expect that as part of this package. Yeah, so this is something that we hear from a lot of our patients. As you probably know, a lot of our patients are professional athletes. These are guys and gals that depend on their body for their livelihood. And, and they're elite athletes. They're at the top of their game. They come back from that PT and they go, wow, I have never... I never knew how important this particular movement was. Right, right. I So I, I'm going to physical therapy also. I, I kind of hurt my hip just training a little bit. And um, and one of the things I keep saying to the these these gals that are there is like, we should do that for our kids. We should have our kids learn to walk the right way. Yeah. One of the things I found is that I just, when I sit up from a chair, I use all quads and a little bit of hands. I don't use any glutes. I don't use engage my uh -huh. core. And that's wreaking havoc on the rest of my body. So the yeah. little things like that are yeah. incredible. Yeah. What is advanced therapy? You, you used that term earlier. Yeah. So, um, you know, one, one of the terms that we're kind of pivoting, and when I say we, not just our clinic bioaccelerator, but also the entire industry, we're pivoting to advanced cell therapy because stem cells, for one, um, is... <laughs> Stem cell is a term that's thrown around all over the world, but especially in the United States, this term stem cell is being used and it means so many different things and not all stem cells are created equal. Yeah. But there's all, also many other cells that can be used. So not just stem cell, but there could be hemopoietic cells and there's extracellular vesicles like exosomes that I know you've heard of. Um, and, and so these are all of those advanced cellular therapies. And what is the difference between the exosome the stem cell, what you're doing here, what, what people can buy or do in, in America. Yeah, well, that's, there's a lot there. So um, the difference between stem cell and exosome, the exosome is an extracellular vesicle that's secreted by the stem cell. So the stem cell is still the brilliant, it's the brain of all of the cytokines and growth factors and, and exosomes, but those exosomes are super important. So we, we've actually developed our own exosome product as well. Uh, it took us many, many years to do it and, and it's very valuable, but the stem cell tells those exosomes what to do. And the, the exosome on its own is subject to the micro environment of your body. So the stem cell really tells your body what to secrete or what to regenerate or your auto or your immune system to uh -huh. either upregulate or downregulate. So it's really the, the brilliance. So, you know, like I've been getting, I've, I've had exosomes mm -hmm. in the United States. And sometimes I hear people say, look, there's really no difference. Uh, stem cells is stem cell. You just said they're not created equal. What, why can't I get what is done here, there? Mm. And, and, and how different are they? Man, it's so, so if we're just talking about stem cells, it, it's really in my mind approaching criminal why we can't do it in the U.S. 
um, in the sense that there is no debate in the scientific community whether or not it's safe and effective for a lot of treatments. Meaning it, it's been proven to be safe. Yeah, it's, uh-huh. there's thousands and thousands of studies at this point. The problem is, is that they haven't gone all the way through the commercialization process in a lot of cases uh, because sometimes that takes hundreds of millions of dollars and, and 20 years of research. Um, but the safety part is what happens first. And that's that's hands down. That's just been proven. Um, efficacy on a lot of treatments like orthopedic treatments and autoimmune disease, some autoimmune, not all, uh, neurological conditions, also very effective. So those are like the two most important components. Um, but why why can't we do it in the U.S.? Um, the FDA has really, um, you know, I think they're compromised in their decision making process in the sense that they talk to us in conferences. The the commissioner Janet Woodcock or former commissioner Scott Gottlieb, they talk to us in these conferences and they say, yeah, it's stem cells great. We're helping you guys are helping so many patients. Uh, we're going to help fast track this. And then nothing, yep. crickets, for years and years and years. Yeah. And we just saw Operation Warp Speed. We know they can put things out when they're yep. motivated. So the motivation isn't there. So what they're doing is they're using a, a really antiquated language that was developed 30 years ago for bone marrow transplant. And what it says is that you can do the same the same uh, cellular-based procedure in, in the same surgical procedure without manipulation or minimal manipulation. And science has advanced so quickly. We don't know what the word manipulation means or minimal means, and they haven't defined that. So, so there's, assume I know nothing about what a stem, e, a stem cell even is. Like when you say, when you say that, I'm like, okay, what's, what, what is it doing? Where do I get it? And, and, and why would it work on my joints or pains or the autoimmune, autoimmune problems you're talking about? So if you're a little kid and I was explaining it to you and, you know, to use your analogy, you don't know anything about it. Um, if you get a paper cut, you know, you, you, you get a little paper cut and that day it bleeds a little bit and it, it kind of heals up, it scabs up. The next day there might be a scab and a bruise. And then a couple of days later, maybe a week later, it looks just like it did yeah. before you were yeah. cut. Well, those are mainly your stem cells at work. So with that paper cut process, it create your body creates inflammation. It signals mm. your stem cells to go to work. Now, your stem cells are with you from birth. These are the building blocks of life. Uh, the most now, now, And how different will they be from person to person? Uh, well, they're, they're different more from age to age okay. than person to person. So the characteristics under a microscope are the same from person to person, mm-hmm. but the age, that's where it differs. Difference. Uh-huh. Interesting. And, and so this gets into one of your previous questions right, about right. what are you getting in the yeah, U S exactly. versus here? So, uh, a lot of times in the U S you're seeing bone marrow aspirate, meaning somebody, a doctor is taking a, a big needle, puncturing your iliac crest, sucking out a bunch of bone marrow putting it in a centrifuge, and then you have a bunch of different cells, but some of them are the mesenchymal worn jelly stem cells, or not worn jelly, but mesenchymal stem cells. Uh Um, And so those are the ones that are are concentrated to go to work for, let's say, like an orthopedic issue. Um, You also have adipose tissue. So is is that procedure legal in the U.S.? Those are legal in the U.S. Okay. Yeah, because this would fall under the gray area of minimal manipulation Uh because you're taking your own bone marrow or your own fat adipose uh-huh. tissue and you're really just repurposing the cells but these are cells that are you know in, in my case they'd be 47 year old cells yeah that are right right not, they're not keeping up already uh-huh. um, they're not keeping up with my degeneration they're exposed to my environment you know let's say i'm a drinker and a smoker forget about it right you know now now those cells are, are Con- they're cut in half yeah they're contaminated uh-huh. Because I was on my way over here, okay, and, and I was actually at a charity event in Phoenix, Scottsdale. Oh, okay. And I said I was coming down, and she's like, oh, what you need is the, you know, you need you have to have it pulled from the fat cell. I think there's so much, so many people out there that say where it needs to happen. And the fact that, you know, I had to come down here to get what I'm getting, to me, is a kind of a quality check for me. Yeah. You know, um, when I couldn't find anything negative about, uh, for instance, um, vaccines being tied to um autism yeah any uh, issues like, uh, if i can't find it on the internet somebody's burying that yeah. yeah somebody had to write an article saying they're connected but i got to go through 12 pages mm. that just tells me somebody's hiding something from me the fact that i have to come all the way down here it's three hours yeah to, three hours from miami right yeah, by the way to see one of the most beautiful cities i have ever been to in my Magi- life yeah magical man yeah um and we haven't even left our hotel. I just look out the window and, I, and I'm a few guys. So um, I guess my question is, you know, why, why, why would I want to go grab it for my fat cells? This has always been my contention. Why would I want 66 year old cells when I could get 
a six month old? I mean, where, where, where are the cells coming from? The these embryo? are day old. So these are coming from okay. wart and jelly, mesenchymal. These are mesenchymal cell, stem cells that are sourced from the umbilical, uh -huh. umbilical cord. And they're sourced directly from the wart and jelly piece of the umbilical cord. So this is a very specific piece. So you have this long- As opposed to me just going into my fat yeah. and this grabbing is, whatever's there? Yeah, and like you said, they're exposed to your environment. They've uh -huh. been contaminated for years and, and they're not keeping up with your own um, degeneration. So yeah, what, why do you think repurposing those are gonna be so much better? Um, and it, there's some efficacy with the adipose tissue and the bone marrow. I'm not saying that's zero, um, but in comparison to what you can get, it's very low level science. Uh -huh. So the, where we source the stem cells is from the most potent and pure place in uh, what we know of in science right now, and it's the umbilical cord. So this is typically where uh, a healthy mom and a healthy baby, they still go home and live healthy lives together. So there's no ethical concerns about it. Um, but they, the mother donates this umbilical cord to scientific companies like ours, yeah. and now we can help thousands of people. Uh -huh. But these, these building blocks of life, these stem cells that are day old, are now the most potent and pure, and they're the the quickest to replicate, and so that that's why we're able to use it. And, and then, the umbilical cord is what frozen. It's or, or or do they pull it at that time? And I mean, how does that work? Yeah, so I'm glad you asked. This is one of the things that sets us apart, and uh -huh. one of the things that I think is a problem in the industry, in the sense that most places don't have a relationship with the donation process, or the storage process of that umbilical cord or the cells that are extracted extracted from that. Uh, we do, so we send our, our nurse into the OBGYN, we go into the C-section, we actually handle that cord from the second that it's that it's available. Um, and the cord- Is that a does donation, to, donation or you acquired donation. or- uh -huh. Total donation, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and in most countries it's illegal to pay for to that. Purchase, so, huh? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's a donation uh, because the that's mother, probably a good idea. Yeah, 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 I think so. Yeah, yeah, especially when you get into organs. Yeah, yeah, and paying for organs. You know, here, there's a lot of motorcycle crashes, so you don't want uh -huh. to make that a black market. Right, thing. right, right. Um, but so yeah. they pull, they pull it. Mm -hmm. It's donated. We, we pull it. You pull. You yep. pull what? What are you pulling? We pull. We extract the entire umbilical cord. We take that into one of our laboratories. It's quarantined into its own specific area. We then cut, well, first we test it and uh -huh. then we send it out for third party and testing. And what are you testing it for? Uh, all sorts of microbiological bi contaminants. We have a relationship long before, this isn't the first time we've tested. Mm -hmm. So we've already tested the mother, the father. We know all the health history of both sides of the family. We've tested the baby immediately when, when born, the, the cord immediately when born before even getting into our facility. It's then quarantined, then we're testing it again and sending it out for third party testing to make sure to, to mm -hmm. validate what we're doing. And what percentage of those are accepted? Very few, okay. very few. And it's not because of disease. It's because there's a, a let's say a proprietary kind of trade secret of what we're looking for, uh -huh. for the best, most potent, most pure, most accepted uh -huh. um, stem cells. Yeah. So, so this injection is going to, is going to make me Superman? Well, yeah, yeah. Is sure. it going to take my health? <laughs> I think you're, look, I'm a former real estate guy and, yeah. and an entrepreneur. So I already think you're Superman. Yeah. But. Well, thank you. But, <laughs> but, but, but my body, you know, no matter what my, yeah, everybody's like, Hey, this is, you know, 90% of mental game, but but mm. the body joints, like I can just tell you, gravity and falls and, yeah. you know, you start losing confidence. And just getting up from the chair over a period of 50 years, not knowing the right way to exercise. Yeah. I've always worked out, but I didn't stretch. Yeah. Like at some point you can get away with it and at some point you can't. Yeah. What do I, what, so what would a guy like me expect to see from that? And then why are people coming down here in droves? Yeah, so I, I don't know anything specifically about your treatment, so I, I can't talk about what you're going to see in, in for specific terms. Um, I try to stay out of that. I'm the business guy. I'm, okay. I'm the founder and the CEO, uh -huh. but I, I'm not on the medical side. Um, but what, what people are generally coming down here for, what we see the most of is orthopedic injuries. So like I said before, we've we've been very blessed that a lot of professional athletes have not only talked about us in the locker room, but have come to us and had great success. That's usually guys that are uh, injured and, you know, maybe in the NFL or UFC and they're looking to get back in the game. Maybe guys that are looking to extend their careers. Uh, sometimes people are using it as a secret weapon before their camp or before their race. Uh -huh. um, and so, if, you know, you can get anything from a, a major boost in energy, but mostly what it is, is it's modulating your immune system. So it's upregulating or downregulating based on the stem cells. Um, and then it's stimulating repair. And then the biggest thing that we haven't talked about yet is it's immediately reducing inflammation. Mm -hmm. And so inflammation, as you probably know, is just the, the killer of your, your body yeah. over yeah. time. So it, and, and, and the killer of creativity. Ah, because when I'm hurting, hurting, when I'm hurting, I can't, 
ah, come up with that great idea. You know, ah, interesting. Oh, yeah, hundred percent. Huh. I never thought of that. Yeah, interesting. So it drops the inflammation because what? 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 What is the stem cell doing in my body? The mesenchymal stem cell specifically. So there's other cells. There's other you know cells that are considered to be stem like, um, but there's other cells like hemopoietic cells and these other cells that I talked about. The mesenchymal stem cell is the one that immediately reduces inflammation. So that's one of the biggest properties that it has. It goes around your body, and if you're getting the systemic IV, it's going to go around looking for wow. inflammation. Wow. It has something called homing. So it's if you have if you're a drinker and you have cirrhosis of the liver and you don't know it, you're not feeling it. You, your body knows it, but you don't know it. The the IV most likely those stem cells are going to hone right to your uh -huh. liver and start repairing the liver. And how many times a year would somebody do that? The the, the intravenous. We have guys like you that you know are are, are able to um, you know have the wherewithal to afford it on a, a regular basis. So that, that's every six months to a year uh -huh. for just a systemic touch up, booster shot, so to speak. Um, people that are uh, notable in the longevity space are, are doing it about once a year uh -huh. more or less, just for general longevity and, and uh, health and wellness. Now, orthopedic injuries, you can do it much more or a lot less. And this is where we're talking about singular injections to yeah. a specific area. Intra-articular, intramuscular. Uh, uh, we, we do everything from, you know, that easy uh, application to intra which is a, a spinal tap. <laughs> yeah, and those are case-by-case -case basis. We have athletes that are here three times a year, but it's because they go back out and they injure themselves. Yeah. Again. Now, now, who's paying for that? Is it the athlete paying for it or is it the, yeah, the, the it's league? Never, never it's the never the league. They can't no. get involved in it? No, I, I, you know, Why? it's... it's it's really a shame because, you know, guys, uh, guys like Dana White, you know, talk about how stem cells save them and, you know, and, and he doesn't really offer it for his fighters. And, and, um, and, and the same thing with the NFL, you know, we have, we have, uh, the dot team docs, the team physical therapists, the coaches come to us, but they can't recommend it to their players. Yeah. All their uh -huh. players are coming. I mean, you know, these are only just a couple of the jerseys that we have. Uh -huh. Um, but so no, from a league perspective, it's not sponsored. So what's the controversy, man? I mean, I guess I'm back to what you said earlier. There, there's an agenda almost that's almost criminal to keep it, I, to keep new solutions, alternatives, this competition. Yeah. It, it, okay. So just look, dumb regulation. I mean, a combination. I, it's a combination. I feel like I'm a, a terrible businessman in the sense that my business model is to treat you once and never see you again. Uh -huh. But that is not at all how the United States healthcare system is set up. You know, it's set up more for sick care. The, the money oh, is 100%. not in treating somebody, you know, one time. You know this. I mean, we have a, a similar um, similar mission in the sense of 10X Health. You know, we're, we're, we're really trying to help people optimize their health and keep them out of the doctor's office by right. preventative care. And so, you know, my guess is that there's a lot of factions that are uh, much more, much more uh profound and, and wealthy than my company that are out there working against this agenda. Right. And then, so did you guys benefit from the, the, uh, pandemic? Yeah. Yeah. We I, actually I would did. expect that it really raised people's awareness about our systems failing us. Yeah. Our phones started ringing off the hook. I mean, really it was, um, it, from a business perspective perspective, it was scary because we're, we're reliant on medical tourism. So when the airports are shut down for six months, you kind of go, Oh shoot, well, that's going to, you know, that's going to put a dent in our business. Uh, but luckily people were calling us day in, day out, day in and day out, um, worrying about their immune system for the first time. Uh -huh. It was the first time that we had people calling, not because they were in pain already. Right. They had some disease. They were saying, what can I do to prevent? And mm -hmm. so it was, it was good. And then how, how did they get down here? Was it they, but during that six month period, they didn't, uh -huh. but they got right. on our, our schedule. So right. after we opened, we were booked out for almost a year. And how big is this facility? Cause man, you have a whole floor here that's yeah. connected to a hotel. I just want to talk to people about you guys that want to come down to Medellin. Uh, from Miami, it's a three and a half hour flight. You fly into Medellin, it's freaking absolutely magnificent. The people here, the employees, like the work ethic here. I don't know what you're doing to get people to be happy, but no, it's, fucking people are happier here in, in, the, in America and they're in better shape, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I, I split my time between here and Scottsdale. I, mm -hmm. you know, our offices are in the same building, yeah, yeah. Uh, just coincidentally. But um, yeah, so I, I love Scottsdale, but. I have really fallen in love here because the people are just genuinely happy. Partially, I would say, because it is a, a health conscious country in general. Um, so there's, there's not a lot of obesity, but part of that is because the food is clean. Yeah. So they, they don't have to, they don't have to go out of their way to find the right supermarket that has organic stuff. They kind of laugh and they go, of course it's organic. 
why would you put any other poison in your body? Right. Um, so, but then also the weather's perfect and they're just a genuinely happy culture. You know, we had sushi here. I live in Miami. I've lived in LA. We had sushi here that was the best sushi. I, I live in Malibu, down from street from Nobu. Uh -huh. The best sushi I've ever had in my life. I, I keep telling people this and I, I almost don't want the secret to get out because then, you know, all, all the Americans and everybody from around the world are going to come and invade us. Well, it's a little secret. I not put this up on my channel? Because no, 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 you should, you should. Okay. Yeah. I am officially 50 pounds down, motherfucker. I was pretty messed up at the time physically. I, I, I was messed up. I weighed 236 pounds. I weigh 195 now. 10X Health goes worldwide. A breakthrough in health and wellness that's not just changing lives, but revolutionizing the entire global healthcare landscape. Spanning across 47 countries, six continents with over 150 clinics. 10X Health is a global force pioneering the world's first ever precision nutrition system. Single analysis analyzes and evaluates 20 million variations throughout your entire genome. Our system unlocks the power of precision nutrition tailored to your DNA, identifies up to 100 essential nutrients, meticulously timed and dosed for optimal absorption, personalized to your biological needs. Imagine a weight management program so precise it knows exactly how your body processes fats and carbs. Behind this are 10 years of life science, R&D in safety, regulatory, and efficacy. A decade dedicated to fine-tuning healthcare to fit your genetic blueprint. Join us on this journey. Embrace the future of healthcare, where every treatment is as unique as you are. Because when it comes to your health, good enough isn't good enough. It's time to expect more. You deserve 10X Health. So, how many employees in the building? Uh, we're pushing 70, maybe a little bit over 70 at this uh -huh. point, which is, it, it's a little bit heavier than you would really need to operate a clinic of this size. To get back to your question, it's about 10,000 square feet. Okay. But what we do that's a little bit different than most companies, if not all, um, is we invest heavily into research. We also are very evidence-based. So there's other clinics out there that they may, may even be using our same cells, but they're, they're just gonna, they're, they're gonna offer you cells cause they know it's safe and they hope it's effective we turn down maybe more patients than we accept because we really take an evidence-based approach, which means our process is a little bit slower and we need more employees. You, you're, you're a heavy process, bro. No, I know, I know, I know. Man, I'm telling you, like... Look, I, I lose a lot of business. Why? I mean, to, why, why, why? So, so, why, so much, why such a emphasis on the process? Because... This is coming from a systems and process guy. No, no I guess, <laughs> but, but I mean, like... It's you guys do a great job here. I mean, I'm just telling you, like, it's a great job. I would not expect this from a third world country. Uh, yeah. I, do, I wouldn't, but yeah. but I think now I'm re-looking at my third world country concept because mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, this looks clean. There's no graffiti. The people are nice. Like, they really care. Maybe, maybe I've just been propagandized, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. So, so what, it, like, because when I came here, I mean, there, there was a heavy, heavy, uh, before I got here, questionnaires, Zoom calls, doctors involved yeah multiple questions about all the stuff that's going on with me that really helped me understand what was going on with me so you guys can help me yeah but how did you come up with that how do you come up with the whole process and maybe lay it out for the audience what what they would expect when they get here okay yeah so it, it is process oriented it is heavier than you're going to find in a lot of the other clinics um it's certainly a complaint that we get and i i believe that we lose business because of it um, to answer your first part of the question is I'm, I'm doing something that other guys in this field are not doing. And I'm, I'm looking at the future and I'm looking at protecting the industry. That means my competitors also I'm protecting the industry, mm -hmm. not just my company. And I'm doing that by making sure that we're not, we're, we're not making false claims. We're not accepting people that are going to have no results. Um, because there's many indications that scientists or people in the health and wellness world think that stem cells will help. And we look at it and we, we do global research and we do our own internal research and we say, no, I don't think you're going to get a result. I'm sorry. Uh, we're not going like, to like who, What would that customer look like? Uh, a lot of times it's autoimmune disease. There's a lot of rare disease that are maybe uh, uh, degenerative in nature or autoimmune disease um, oriented that technically stem cells would probably have a benefit of one of their symptoms, but not their overall disease. So uh, lots of rare stuff. There's probably, if our doctor, if you're asking our doctors, they tell you 50 specific conditions, but 
Yeah, and who, who who makes a decision on, okay, no, we're our, not gonna accept this? Our medical team. So we have a, a medical team that that does a staff together, so they decide together. And that is, this is another thing that's different, is we have two neurosurgeons, we have eight epidemiologists, we have uh, ev everything ranging from emergency physicians to orthopedic phys physicians to sports physicians. And so they get together and they, they work with our epidemiology team to look at global evidence. So if we haven't treated it, we look at all the global companies, universities, uh, hospitals that have treated it. And then we, we'd make a decision on whether or not we're going to treat it. Um, so it, it takes a while. It, it's a, a, a pain. And I, I agree with that, but you also asked who sets that up. Uh, I wish I could take all the, the credit for this. Um, but the brilliance is really with, um, my co-founder and partner, Dr. Carolyn Halpert. Okay. And services that are offered. Uh, all let, let me back up a second. Okay. I, I have this quote. I, my friend, Doug Doring just passed from cancer. Yeah, they found it. They'd done a test on him, found nothing. And the next thing you know, he was feeling bad, went in. Mm. You've heard the story before. Oh, yeah, man, you got it. You got it. You got cancer in your throat. You got it in your lungs and you got it in your stomach. Horrible. You know, three months later, he was gone. Would this be, is, are you guys a solution for that kind of thing? No. 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 Okay. No. And, and, and there are you're, some. You're a solution for a guy who what? Like, particularly a guy like me that just wants to feel better, have more energy, be preventative. They tried to do the hair thing on me. I'm like, bro, I don't need any hair. Like, like, I know my hair is good. Man. Yeah. 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 It's, we've seen some great results with yeah. hair too, but, um, no, for sure. Health optimization. Okay. Um, longevity and, and then injury recovery. Uh, this is helping guys avoid surgery. This is helping regular guys like me that just want to stay on the golf course. Um, or my dad is maybe a better example. He's in his seventies. He's still golfs three, four times a week. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, he's got some orthopedic issues as an older guy. Um, so this is for him that he just wants to get out there and kind of do minimal, you know, activities. Um, this is also for people that have autoimmune disease that are in chronic pain. Mm -hmm. Uh, so like that, what's an autoimmune, uh, diabetes, okay. diabetes, um, you know, type two, uh, is, is something that, uh, stem cells do really well to help, but you also have to take the other steps that we also prescribe. So the alternatives like, like 10 X health cryotherapy, you know, cold plunge, uh, red light therapy, hyperbaric chamber, um, uh, ozone therapy, you know, all those are the things that we prescribe here and, and we know are supportive to the stem cell uh, proliferation process. But I would say that starts with the diet and nutrition, of course, mm -hmm. um, and baseline testing, by the way, you guys are top notch in that. I, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. So they, they did hair. Uh -huh. What what happens with the hair test? I've never had a hair test before. Yeah, so the epi epigenetic test it's it's a uh, it's very simple to administer. You know, just it, it doesn't hurt, uh, and it's very very fast. So we can get results very quickly. Now it's not as robust as as the one that you showed me that that you and uh, your wife Elena uh, just did. And Brandon, yeah. And Brandon, yeah. 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 By the way, shout out to Brandon Dawson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've always guy. had yeah great Good guy. Days. Um, so it's not as robust as the 10x um, genetic test. Um, but you guys do a cheek swab, you have yeah. to send it off. It's, yeah. you know, it, it takes a yeah, little bit longer. Two weeks, dude. Exactly. I mean, you had the results in two minutes. Exactly. So, so it's, you, yeah. it's not as robust, but it's I know, but I'm sensitive. Yeah. So, but it, a lot of the same thing. So it, it looks at what your, your genes are, but also looks at your, and you, lo you looked at that before you treated me because you wanted to see what, or did that help you guide the doctor's guide? What, what I'm going to get delivered. Yep. It doesn't help guide the stem cell necessarily. Okay. We already have that predetermined and uh -huh. this is why prior to you getting here, we have to have so many consults with yeah, you yeah. and medical yeah. questionnaires and all that. So we already have that determined, but it's also not one size fits all. So that mm -hmm. is also important. You'll see a lot of these other companies that are just slamming people in and giving them IV bag and yeah. how many cells and based yeah. on what, you know, it's just, no, come sit down, we'll give you cells and we know yeah. it's safe. Okay. There's some to that, but so we've already determined the stem cells to your, your point, the epigenetic test help us, helps us deliver the rest of the therapy. So how many sessions of cryotherapy? How many sessions of hyperbaric? More importantly, what are the bio -regula regulatory and orthomolecular vitamins and minerals we're going to give you, and at what doses? So that's why. Okay, uh, some of the things I've done already. I did. I did the uh, cryo. I'd done cryo before. I I love it every time I do it. Yeah. I don't know why I resist it. No. Oh, well, that's part of the mental. Dude, piece it's the mental thing, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Why cryo, uh, rather than um, the the the. Uh, cold, cold plunge. Water. Yeah. Cold plunge. Cold plunge is actually probably better in a lot of cases. So it's not, it's not. Uh, and, and. Yeah. yeah it's, it, it's, huh? it, it's more of a logistics piece where 
Um, I, I have a cold plunge in my, my place. So I do cold plunge all the time, but there's logistic issues where you're like, I don't want to share the same tub as the guy that just went before me. Yeah. Unless no, I you know where I'm showering right after or whatever, but like, okay, so now we have to clean it. Everything. Right. Right. You know? Right. So it's right. just, it and delivery. it's very heavy. Uh-huh. And in our bio X health, um, which is similar. But to is there any chance the cryo machine actually gets deeper? Or, or no, is, it's not, very superficial. Oh, it is. It, it is super, more superficial than the cold plunge. Uh, but, but but I don't get to minus three hundred sixty-two degrees no, with a cold plunge. No, that's true. Also, but you you would die. Um, but it's really good for inflammation. Yeah. So it's got the same. Not. Yeah. It's the same property. So it's it's really good for inflammation. Okay. And we're trying to reduce inflammation before treatments, uh-huh. and especially, um, and even after treatments in some case, but the inflammation process is actually very important in the stem cell process, but in the right places. Uh-huh. So before, not after. Okay, okay. In the high, <laughs> I feel really dumb about the minus 362. Um, hyperbaric, why the hyperbaric uh, as opposed to just oxygen? Uh, well, you, you should do both, um, but the hyperbaric does the 100% pure oxygen or a combination mixture, a proprietary mixture that, that helps um, with some of the sickness, um, but it does it at pressure. Yeah, yeah, so and that's what I experienced oxygen. different for me, breathe, just breathing oxygen. Yep. It felt to me like, particularly after the IV drip, stem cell IV drip, that I was getting compressed yeah, I don't know if I'm making this up or not, but 100. percent No, you're you're going through atmospheric dives just yeah. as if you were going underwater. Uh-huh. Um, you know, I, I'm trying to think of a good analogy. Our your co-founder and partner Gary Brecker would have a better analogy than I have, yeah. but yeah. It, the the pressure is supercharging the oxygen yeah. throughout your your uh-huh. blood. Whereas when you're you're bringing breathing in yourself, you can only do so much with the capacity that your lungs have. Uh, talk to me about the different ways in which uh, somebody could come down here and get the stem cells delivered? Uh, so, well, I, I mean, as far as um, our main treatments, it's getting into the orthopedic issues. One of the things that sets us apart is the spine and disc treatments. So uh, we have two neurosurgeons. This is something mostly different from what you're seeing out in the, the rest of the companies is we, we are a little bit more invasive. So we have an advanced- Invasive. Invasive, uh-huh. yeah. So we have an advanced procedure room where our neurosurgeons come in. You know, they're doing brain surgery most of the week. They come here for us, uh, you know, a couple of days a week. And we, we do interdisc and interfacet injections. So we're not just going around the superficial, the, the muscles or around the facets. We're actually going into the disc and facet to uh, hydrate, to regenerate those those discs. So a lot of times- Cervi- So- Yeah, cervical, lumbar, thoracic, uh-huh. all. Uh-huh. Um, but in a lot of cases, what we've seen is it's prolonging people that where their doctor said, no, you have to have a fusion right now. Now, years and years later, they're, wow. some of their doctors wow. come back saying, wow, I'm actually- you, you might not even need one. Uh-huh. I would highly recommend uh, anybody that's getting recommended a fusion to have a s- second opinion. No disrespect to that doctor. Yeah, that yeah. doctor might be totally right. There's people that come to us yeah, and say, let's keep it real, man. Like doctors, you know, if you went and you went to school for 10 years or wh- however long they go to learn how to do surgery, you know, they're indoctrinated. Dude, you're going you're gonna to want to do surgery. It'd be like yeah. going to a guy that cuts hair. Man, do I need a haircut? And he's going to be like, yeah, you need that. You need a shave. Yeah. And if he does waxes, he's going to tell me I need a wax. Like, like so that's why I, I broke my shoulder two years ago. So I'm really excited about the injections on my shoulder because three people I went to in three different states, all three highly recommended, like is the best of the best, all three recommended surgery, and I didn't get one. So, and I'd rather not have one. And I, I think everybody would rather not have one. Yeah. That actually leads into a better answer uh, to your question and, and not just what can people get, but like, who do the people have to be? And it's usually people that are questioning a little bit. They're doing their own research. Uh-huh. They're not, they're, they're smart. They're, 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 really, really, they're curious. Yeah. Not, not like other from solutions. a university standpoint, but like, Hey, you know what? Let me, I'm, I'm going to get a second opinion. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do a little bit more digging on the internet. I'm going to, yeah. yes, I see that stem cells are available in my local market, but I want the best. I want to make sure that yeah. that's the right one. So th- that's the people that we look for. Okay, so um, you're going to do my, the doctor's going to do my, my, both my ankles. Okay. Really my feet. You don't even know what I'm getting done. No. I, I'm going to get, I'm going to get both my shoulders. Okay. Rotor cuffs are all worn out 66 years. Never and warming up. Athlete, yeah, yeah. Everybody has that, right? Uh, Probably. Uh, athletes like yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. You know, guys uh, that take care of themselves, yeah. Yeah, both knees. I got a right leg that's just jacked up and they're going to do my neck, so. Perfect. You're in the right what place. else would somebody get? I know they, they said, hey, how about getting your hair done? I'm like, I don't need that, but. 
Yeah. What? So what we find is that most people still, they find us because they're in pain. So they call us, they pick up the phone because they're in pain. Um, you know, during COVID, like I said, we do have a lot of people now that call us, especially because of the new health movement and the longevity movement. We get a lot of people that call us just for, um, you know, for preventative, but most of the time they call us for pain. So they'll call us and they say, yeah, I have a knee problem. I'm a runner or whatever. So we'll talk to them about that. But then what happens is they they start being uh, they start being a, a quick study on what else stem cell can help. Uh-huh. So to answer your question is orthopedic for sure, but also there's sexual wellness. Uh-huh. So we have okay. a lot what, of people. What, what is the sexual? Yeah. wellness? They hadn't, they hadn't pitched that one to me yet. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we don't pitch this one at all. But uh-huh. once people kind of get into the process and they they realize like, okay, hey, you guys are top notch. Let me uh-huh. while I'm all, all the way down in Columbia already. While I'm paying, you know, it's not cheap, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but you know, there's major discounts and bulk discounts on added but is items. It, so you brought up the money. Okay. Yeah. So let's, is it, is it cheap to me? It's cheaper for me to do this and prevent. Yeah. Uh, than it is for me to do a surgery and not have my shoulder. A hundred percent. Uh, somebody asked we took our kids out of school years ago and they said, Hey, is it expensive to homeschool kids? I said, it's cheaper than sending them to a treatment center for drug addiction. Amazing. And exactly. ever trying to ever trying to get, get wash off the stupidity they learned there. Right. So I, like because I, I think the rap is, hey, man, it's expensive to do this. Yeah. But is it really? No. I mean, look, what is your health worth? Yeah. Ask yourself that. What What is one day out of work, one day out of the gym, one day if you're an NFL player, one day out of the league or a year? Um, it doesn't matter what part of life you're in. You know, health is health is wealth. So, yeah. um, you know, for me, if you frame it that way, no, of course, it's not expensive. But not everybody has disposable income where they have twenty five thousand dollars to just put to this. So a lot of people have to decide on, you know, are we taking a vacation this year? Are we uh-huh. buying a new car this year? Are we, you know, taking a second out on, on the home? And that breaks my heart. Yeah. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, no, of course, because you're, you're not going to enjoy so your that vacation. Is the average bill here? Yeah, we're right around 25,000. Uh-huh. I, I would say that's average. Now we treat very severe patients like spinal cord injury patients. So we haven't talked about that. But we treat quadriplegics that, um, you know, need multiple treatments and a lot more cells and a lot more invasive. So those range, you know, more close to the $40,000 range. Uh Um, But typically what happens is we start people, you know, they come in for a knee and then they find out they can do everything. So then we're getting the intercavernous shot, which is sexual wellness for Uh uh, erectile dysfunction. Oh, that's for... It it helps with erectile dysfunction. So they must be going into the penis. Oh, yeah. Oh my God! What do you mean? Oh yeah, it sounds say horrible. that like you like it. No, 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 no dude. You, I thought you had some penis <laughs> envy right there. Shit, I mean, okay, that was. Uh, can we rewind that part? Cut, yeah, cut. yeah, yeah. Um, no, but it's it sounds horrible. Um, most guys, though, I, it, I've had buddies of mine talk about. It. I'm like, what are you talking painful. about, bro? You're gonna get your penis injected? You're supposed to be putting your penis in things. Yeah, exactly. Not exactly. having things put in. Exactly. It. You got exactly. confused. Yeah, no, I. It freaks me out when I hear about it. Yeah, but a lot of guys end up doing and it. And then what happens? Uh, it helps elasticity. It helps. It helps elasticity. I mean, it most helps. guys don't have a problem with the elasticity. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. It helps sustain erection. Though. Oh, most oh, of the time, it, it's like. Either getting erection or sustaining, I think, is the main thing. Uh-huh. But, so it helps with blood flow. Um, we haven't figured out how to make it grow yet. Otherwise, we'd, I'd be a billionaire with you. Uh-huh. Um, but uh, it, it doesn't hurt as bad as you think. Any other sexual tricks? No. I know no, the no. audience loves that. They we, love money and sex. Man. Not sexual, but we do have some pretty invasive injections into the bladder. So you actually have to go, I mean, this is uh, this is for our rated crew, right? Uh, inter, uh, you have to put a camera in the anus and then do uh interbladder shots oh wow uh, so so what, what's that for uh i don't remember what uh do you, do you guys remember no i, I don't remember exactly yeah. what, okay. what we're treating but we'll just so, we'll, we'll just insert some b-roll on that uh, we've got it and i on what it would, I would suggest so what about like for 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 prostates and stuff uh, it doesn't help enlarge prostate. Uh-huh. It, it's not a. It's not typically a cancer. Okay. You know, a cancer okay. cure. So. Um, why would it work for hair? Uh, it helps the follicle. So it helps uh-huh. stimulate the blood flow to the follicle. Dude, the guy that's losing his hair will pay twenty five grand. They, they well in a flash. Yeah, we don't charge that much, but they they do. Yeah, it, it's also in good. It's really good in combination with um, the hair transplants. So hair transplants are you know really big. They're getting really good uh-huh. both here in Colombia and in Turkey. Um, and the guys that we see really good results with, with the hair transplants is the guys that do stem cell also. Uh-huh. But if you catch it before it gets to that place where you're just starting to thin a little bit, start doing the stem cells and uh, even exosomes uh-huh. and it helps stimulate the blood flow. 
Um, as long as you're not shiny bald. If you're shiny bald with no follicle, forget yeah, it. Yeah, yo, too it's, late. it's not bringing it yeah, back. Too huh? late. Okay, so I'm going to tell my friend to revolt. Hey, forget don't it. Don't bother. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Keep, keep um, what do you think the number one reason is? Pain, immunity, or longevity? Uh, pain for sure. It starts, it starts, it starts with pain. pain. Yeah, it starts uh -huh. with pain, but then people they're, start they're, shifting into the right mindset. We're like, yeah. okay, well, I have pain here, but let me be preventative here. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a lot I of guys. I can see that, dude. I could see me coming down here a couple of times a year for the longevity. This is how like, it Like, look, I'm in the space a little bit, right? Like as a business person, sure. I am. But right, when I came down here and I had three days, when you have three or four or five days and that's all you're doing, I'm like, man, why am I not doing this cryo every day, twice a day? Screw the once a day. I could yeah. do it. Like, like at my age, it matters. I want to make sure these last 20 years or whatever I got is yeah. quality, not quantity. I'm not interested in it being... Everybody's pitching this 104 years now and 114 years. I'm like, fuck them. Yeah. Like, not if I'm hurting, bro. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, tomorrow. Not like my grandma that was laying in bed for the last five years. Yeah, exactly. Forget That's it. not life. Yeah, exactly. So I start thinking about coming down here for the discipline. Yeah. Being in an environment where I give myself three or four or five days, this gift of wellness, protection, I mean, nobody can pitch this better than me. And longevity, dude. Could, yeah. could I like be creative all the time? Another 20 years, that'd be freaking exciting. Yeah. No, look, we're blessed to have you talking to to your entrepreneurs and, and you know, everybody in your network because this is exactly it. We need people to start thinking that way. And it's true that yeah. the, the, the technology is available. You know, most doctors in the United States or all over the world say, oh, yeah, stem cell is the future of medicine. But the future is now. Yeah. We, yeah. we can help people right now. Yeah. And it'll help you feel better in your advanced years. What is the ozone? Ozone is uh, essentially taking uh, your own blood. So uh -huh. we extract your blood and it goes through the ozone machine. It's introducing O3 molecule uh -huh. and it kind of spins your blood so it doesn't coagulate. So uh, they were pulling blood from me. Uh-huh. Yep. And then bringing it back through. Yep. And then bringing it back through. So it, it essentially kind of filters the uh -huh. blood also. So if you notice your blood that it, it comes out typically kind of thick and black yeah, yeah, a little it's bit. going back in. And then when it comes back in. Burgundy. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. then it gets lighter and lighter. So depending on how yeah. many passages you do, uh -huh. it, you know, it turns into like fire engine red by the time you're, yeah. you know, by the time you're, you're filtering and, and using the O3. Um, what else? What else? We, what else do y'all do here? The PT was phenomenal. I don't know why you added the PT piece. Yeah, PT. Well, we do. Why? Why did you even add that though? We we have a lot of professional athletes, but again, we have regular people like like me and most of our patients, uh -huh. and and these are people that don't have access to the best trainers and therapists on the world and the best uh, you know the best uh, coaches and whatever. So these are people that are coming in for orthopedic issues, and you have to be deliberate about how you um, how you have the aftercare. So, you know, even with the professional athletes, we don't want them going out and going right back to heavy activity. We need them to kind of slowly break into it after the stem cell therapy. So we needed them to be trained. Yeah. And, and your team gave me, uh, I mean, I don't think I'm, I think you, you're doing this for everybody is what I imagine. They gave me foods that I should be on when I leave here. Yeah. You're no different than anybody. What else. I should not, what I should not be on when I leave here, especially for the first 30 days, 60 days and 90 yep. days. So there is aftercare here. It's not like I'm just buying three or four or five days of treatments. Yeah. And then there was also the PT. The PT people are meeting with me on Zoom calls. Yeah. Do you do that for everybody? Oh, yeah. Everybody. Uh -huh. Everybody. It's essential. And this is this is another problem I see with the industry in that a lot of the places are just, you know, kind of spraying and praying. What, what, what we say is, but just they're, yeah. they're hoping that it works and they're turning you loose. Yeah. Um, but there's really a, a, a real protocol and a regimen around real results and, and real efficacy. So, yeah, we do this with everybody. And what we find is that the people, most of our patients with great results, stop answering the phone because they're busy guys like you. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually, it's great. Thanks. I'll, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I don't need to pick up the phone, but we really want to follow your progress and know how much range of motion has changed. Uh huh. And um, you know, and and whether or not you're still in pain, if, uh, have yeah, you gone Do you think 10? people want all that? No. Do they want it? Yeah. They love it that we're offering it. They they yeah. love it that we yeah. we yeah. call them. But at some point, they go, man, why are you why are you bothering me? I, I told you I was I was doing good. Uh huh. But then they yes, they go through it because they're busy guys like you. Yeah. And so so why why offer it then? Uh, again, protecting the industry, trying yeah, to be yeah. the top yeah. top of the heap of the industry because yeah. there will come a day when the FDA cannot turn its back anymore uh -huh. and they will have to listen to all the patients in the world and all the, the people that we've helped and they'll say, okay, we're going to start allowing this somewhere, uh -huh. but we're only going to allow the companies that can prove that they've they've done yeah. what, yeah. what so, they said. Okay. So that's, that aftercare is an investment 
Yeah, in in not future. just the client, but the future for of, sure. Yeah, ultimately. the industry in general. Yeah. Um, where do you see? I mean, if you were in Phoenix, bro, with this, yeah. I mean, you'd have you'd have people. Yeah, we from Phoenix to damn Tucson. We're on a up. six month wait now, getting to Medellin. Think about if we we're in Phoenix, it'd be yeah. amazing. Yeah, let's do a deal on the building you have and across the street. No, I'm buying another building right now. So, <laughs> so no, uh, yeah, yeah, no, we, we, we we would need a much bigger. I'm, I'm yeah. walking around here saying, "Oh, bro, we're going to do some of this." Like, yeah, like I'm looking around, like, "Oh my gosh, this could be so phenomenal." See, this is why I was telling Brandon, "You got to come down here, man. Yeah. You, you got to come down here and see it because otherwise, people gotta, think you, it's a third world country." Yeah. And it's, you got to really see it, folks. If you're watching this right now and your 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 joints are in pain, uh, if you're concerned about your kids. Mm. Like maybe you got a kid that's got a problem, you know, they got some weird allergy. Maybe they do. We maybe treat autism don't. also. Yeah, you do. Ju ju juvenile autism. Yeah. Now there's many different types. We treat the the specific type that mesenchymal stem cells How are good for. How careful do you have to be about what you say you do or don't do here? Because uh, I think if you were free, if we were having a drink, would you be talking to me different right now? If we were having a drink and a cigar, which I'm not supposed to do while I'm here. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit more loose now than I was five years ago. Uh -huh. And I'm probably a little bit more loose than a lot of other uh, clinics because um, I'm, I'm getting pissed off. Uh -huh. uh, and, and you know what? I'm kind of saying, look, I, I'm trying to do a good thing in the world here and for the community. And, you know, if I if, if I'm in if my heart's in a good place, then hopefully, you know, everything will work out. But uh, yeah, yeah, my my tone would be probably different. Yeah. I like cigars and I like drinking and I yeah, get yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Yeah. For all of you out there that want to come down here, I'll put a link in. OK, uh, Eric will get you a special deal for sure. Uh, but but most uh, important, a special service. You're literally connected to a hotel. Mm -hmm. So I'm staying at the Novotel Hotel. I come down grab breakfast, walk across here. Like if that wasn't part of this, a guy like me, I don't forget the money. I'm like, I ain't, I'm not driving across town. Yeah. You know, this First is thing you, you invited me to that dinner and I'm like, how far is it? Yeah, exactly. You know, close, okay. super close. That's good. Um, <laughs> this is, this is something that, um, you know, this is, this is why we get a lot of high profile people and a lot of, uh, that athletes was and, by the way, you know, this is why people aren't going to, you know, Tijuana or, you know, some of the other more yeah, dangerous yeah. places. Yeah. This, this is the place. Yeah. And we're reproducing this all around the world. Yeah, man, it's been great uh, being here. You know, thank you for making us a guest and taking care of us as patients. And I'm looking forward to the results I get. And I'm very hopeful about what's happening for me. Yeah, well, that's what we're in the business for. Yeah. You know, whether it's you or anybody else, we always hope for the most optimal results. But from my perspective, thank you so much. It's a blessing to have you. I, like I said, I'm a, a former real estate guy following the trajectory of um, not coffee. Well, this, you, is, but, this is definitely but, a better business than real estate. Yeah, for sure. That this is what I was going to say is like getting into health and yeah. helping other people in your community. It's yeah. it, it's been a blessing, but we need guys like you with a platform to yeah. talk about it. Because Good, unfortunately, well, I I can't talk about it in the U.S. Yeah, I'm going to get the word out, and you know what, what we're doing at 10x Health doesn't even touch this. Like we can't do it. Yeah, wish we could do it. Like from the very beginning, I'm like Gary and Brandon. What can we do to deliver stem cells and alternatives in the future to people today? Yeah, and they're like, we can't, dude. The, the FDA's got us tied down yeah you know like we can't even talk about it can't mention it we'll get shut down to even suggest it so this guy is offering this to you. it's a multi-million dollar facility over here a lot of research doctors neurosurgeons uh if you're having a problem with pain your immunity system uh or man you just sick and tired of wondering mm -hmm. about the damn health system don't want to go to the hospital what i call the 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 sick factory uh for sure you know my wife and i had our she had our, the babies at home. Mm -hmm. And when we found out we were pregnant, I said, we're not going to the hospital to do this. Sick people go to the hospital. Yeah. We're having a baby, man. This should be a celebration. I love that. So invite all you guys to come down to Medellin. Uh, and uh, oh, you've been saying it the right way. Am I saying it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That took me a year to say it the right way. Medellin, baby. <laughs> Medellin, man. The people are beautiful. I'm telling you, they're gorgeous people it here. They're incredible. so nice. They're friendly. Uh, and you guys are phenomenal. Thank you so much, man. I, I appreciate it. Thank appreciate you. you. Right, Grant, okay. I appreciate it.